Welcome to our electron line. Just so that we have some reference when we look at three-phase systems, let's take a look at a single-phase system and we have a couple of diagrams. We have a two-wire single-phase system and a three-wire single-phase system. Again, the idea that when we have a single phase is that everything that generates power or everything that generates a voltage in that system has to be at the same phase. So here we have a simple two-wire single phase system. Notice we have a single generating cap capability at a particular phase producing a voltage and then we have a load that depends on that voltage that draws it power from the source. If we want additional voltage, if this is not enough, let's say that this is 110 volts, and we want to connect something that requires 220 volts, we can still, still do that with a single phase system if we have two voltage sources like this. At the same phase, note, we have the same phase angle here between the two voltage sources, but when they're in series like this, we can actually have the voltage additive so we have the phase voltage from this one plus the phase voltage from this one providing double the voltage if a load requires additional voltage like that. So we can actually have a load on the single generator here, we can have a load connected to the single generator like this, or we can have a load connected to both generators when it's hooked up like that. Again, a single phase system doesn't have all the advantage of a three phase system, but we could have something set up just like that Again, single phase means that everything generating voltage is at the exact same phase. There's no phase difference. And that is how it's done when we have a single phase system.